it's going to be on the sample menu assignment. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for it. I'm going to go into the instructional materials. It's going to be in the week 14 and day 28. All right, so here is the assignment sample menu. Okay, I have a little bit of instructions in here. Um, you have to make sure you have for your menu, we're going to do a very short menu. Um, you're going to make up a name for your restaurant, right? You're going to make up an address and contact information, right? Um, I just used the random number, 555-5555, right? Um, and then whatever address, you can make one up too, right? Um, you're going to include three menu items into this little menu that you're going to make, right? And we need at least one image from uh, probably from Google search or if you guys have any pictures that you guys might have saved, you guys can use that as well. So we're going to need these things to complete our menu. After you finish your menu, we need to um, identify where the five design principles are over your menu that you made it, right? So we're going to um, identify proximity, white space, alignment, contrast, and repetition, OK? Um, make sure you guys explain why you chose that area, right? So we're going to annotate, and you're going to put in your reasons, OK? So to receive the full points, you need to complete your menu with the uh, bullet list at the at the top and five annotations, right? Identifying each design principle we went over, right? They're right here. Okay, so we have an example menu right here. And at the bottom here, I made an example myself, right? This is something that I made. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy or too fancy. I just wanna make sure you guys add the things that I want you guys to add here, okay? So let's uh, go ahead and make the same one or something similar, right? All right, so here is our blank cami. You guys are gonna start off with a blank page, right? So let's go ahead and use the text box, right? I named it Luigi's uh, Pizza Palace, right? That's the name of my restaurant. I'm also gonna add an address. I'm gonna add the one from Jeff because I still know it. Right. Okay. And we're also going to add a phone number. I'm just going to do the 555. All right. Just like that. All right. Um, now we have the name. We have the contact information. Now we have need to add um, <coughs> three menu items. Okay. So. Pepperoni, right? We're going to charge this as $5, right? What about some cheese pizza? That's pretty standard. Okay. We're going to add $5 or $4, right? Um, margarita. Pizza. Right, and this is going to be six dollars. All right, and these are our three menu items. Right, the only thing that we have left to do is add a picture. You guys can add one directly on Cami. You're just going to go to where it says Add Media, and click on this G for Google Image Search. You can Google Image Search inside of the Cami. You don't have to go anywhere else. Okay, I'm going to look up some pizza because that's what my restaurant is made out of. You guys can choose whichever you guys want your favorite restaurant, maybe make one up, right? And this is a picture that I use right here. So I'm gonna click on select. And I'm just gonna add it right here. All right. All right, let me see if I can make this smaller. Okay, so we have the image, we have the name of the place, we have contact information, and we have our three items. So we're technically done with this, right? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna change the font on my, um, the name of my restaurant just to make it stand out a little bit, right? Just to make it like, if people are looking at our advertisement, we need to make sure that they know what the name of our restaurant is. Okay, let's just move this around. All right, and there it is. Okay, I have my image, my name, 
contact information, menu items. So that's it, right? Once you guys are done with adding those things into your menu, you guys are going to go to where it says markup. No, it's comment actually. Comment, okay, right here. Okay, once you guys click on that, you guys are going to start identifying the design principles we went over, right? So for example, proximity, right? Um, proximity is the grouping of similar um, objects, okay? So if we had multiple images, I would all group them at the same place, right? But in this example that I made, I put all of the menu items together, right? Because they're all they all have to do with each other. Um, they all have to do with food, right? These are the menu items. So I'm going to click right here uh, for the comment, right? And you can move this anywhere. I'm going to move it any somewhere closer right here. Now I'm going to put um, this area is an example of proximity because all the menu items oops, are grouped together, right? And separate, okay, let me fix this from the rest of the text. Okay, from the other text. Right, so that is an example of proximity. All right, what about white space? Any space that you guys don't see an image or text, right, would be considered white space. So I could just click on um, any area over here, right? This is a white space. Because right, so you guys are going to identify each of the design principles, and then you guys are going to put why you chose that area. Okay, the next one was um, let me see, what was it? alignment right so alignment we're going to choose right here so we i'm going to click over here and i'm going to put this right here right so i made this because they're um, aligned right they're centered right so you're just going to put in your reason um, the next one is contrast and then repetition, right? So I would use contrast for this area just because it has the black and white contrast, right? Um, it has the, the black image or the outline of the pizza is a contrast against the white background, right? So that's an example. And then repetition, okay? Um, I would choose, repetition can be used if you guys want to add uh, continuous shapes like multiple shapes, create, um, add some type of repetition image in here, or you can do um, fonts, right? So let's say right here, I have the Times New Roman font, and but I also have it here, right? So that is an example of repetition. We used um, the same style of font over and over in our design, so that would be a great example for repetition, right? So I'll probably put it somewhere here in the middle, and I'll put repetition because right um, I because I use the same style of text right um, so there should be five annotations here right now I have four I don't think I did the um, the contrast one right but I can add another one here so identify each one there's five, and then put in why you chose that space, okay? Once I see five annotations, right, you guys see five annotations, you guys are going to click on turn in and turn in again, okay? And that's all we're doing for this assignment.